On Tuesday the 10th of October 2017, Labour MP Paul Flynn will raise a 10 minute rule bill for patients to have medical access to cannabis in the UK. I think we have to say to those who put up with the barbaric stupidity and cruelty of government policy that denies seriously ill people their medicine of choice, we've got a call on those who are in this position to act in a way of civil dis disobedience. Uh, Elizabeth Bryce uh, went to that, she went to the Parliament in Belgium, spoke to the Parliament in Belgium, and within months they changed their policy in, in that country. We know most of the countries in the world allow this most ancient of medicines, been used for 5,000 years in every continent in the world, it's, it's used for medicinal purposes. Well, I would call on people, and I know we're not supposed to do this as men, but to break the law, to come here and use cannabis here and see what happens and challenge the government, the authorities uh, to arrest them. The United Patients Alliance is holding an event called Patients at Parliament, which is going to take place on Tuesday, the 10th of October, 2017, at the Houses of Parliament in Westminster. What that is going to be is going to be a protest and a gathering of patients and cannabis consumers from across the country who want to see legal medical access for cannabis in the UK. We really want as many people there as possible. I think the last time I saw something seriously being discussed in Parliament was Norman Lamb back in April, I believe, last year. Uh, so I beg to move that leave be given to bring in a bill to amend the Misuse of Drugs Act 1971 to provide for the lawful production, packaging, marketing, sale, purchase, possession and consumption of herbal cannabis in specific circumstances by certain persons and for connected purposes. Unfortunately, nothing came out of that one. So this year it is Paul Flynn with his 10 minute rule bill for patients to have access to medical cannabis. We know it can treat so many conditions. There is evidence there, they're ignoring it. And what we need to do now is literally go to parliament, fight for our right to consume cannabis, guys. Now this is gonna be a medical focused event, but also welcomes anybody that is passionate about cannabis legalization. You don't even have to be a cannabis consumer. If you believe that we should have legal access to cannabis for adults, for people who need it for medical reasons, then please, please attend or spread the word. Tuesday, 10th of October at Westminster Houses of Parliament. It kicks off at 2 p.m. And an update from the United Patients Alliance, they've also set up a Just Giving page, which is aiming to do a bit of fundraising for the event so that they can get more materials and just make it as good as possible. So with the event happening less than a month away, if you cannot attend, then do head over to the Just Giving page and see if you can help out that way. What I really wanted to do is give you guys an overview view of the event and just to make sure that you're aware of it and that if you can attend then you plan to. Things like this are so important for cannabis legalisation. It is easy for people to just sit there and do nothing but when we put things in people's faces they kind of have to act. So I would really suggest, encourage, advise anybody who is passionate about cannabis legalisation in this country to attend the Patients at Parliament protest in October. I will see you there. We're going to be doing some filming on the day. Let me know if you are attending in the comments and uh, your thoughts on the 10 minute rule bill for medical cannabis being raised by Paul Flynn. So I'm going to leave a couple of links in the description. One is going to be the Facebook event page for the United Patients Alliance event. The other is going to be the Just Giving page so that you can donate to them if you would like. And I will hopefully see some of you down there guys. As always, thanks for watching and keep talking. Stepping on here roller coaster going down but I never felt this high biggest ride of the century